Good morning, this is day 8 of the feast feast I'm doing at the moment, which is going to be a good day. Um, I've just got to go and have a look at the garden, see if we can find some some nettles, because uh, I need to add more, more green to the diet, so um, I'm going to have a look around. Fortunately, I've been, uh, I've been strimming a lot recently, so most I've cut most of them down, which is a bit short-sighted. But um, strimming, by the way, is weed whacking, I think you call it in the US. So, anyway, we'll have, we'll have a look at that. And uh, I'll just go and see what I can do. I just noticed there's a nice handy line down there. I don't know if you can see that one. Looks quite cool, that one. Lovely dangly line. Right. So, the equipment necessary is a bucket and a pair of scissors. Let's go around and see what we can find. Yeah, it's a very grey day here, but very mild as well. It's about 21 degrees, which is quite nice. 70 degrees F. Just go around here. We'll have a little look, see what you can find. Um, yeah, I reckon there's be something down here. Just upset the birds. There are quite a lot of a lot of nettly looking things around here. Right, there's loads of them. They're all here for the taking. So just take the tops off them. That'd be nice. We'll give them a good wash. I'll put them in the bucket so I can give them a good wash before actually harv oh, put them through the juicer. Oh, I love the I love the taste of nettles, they are absolutely spot on. Very, very sort of strong, bitter taste, and the juice that comes out is really nice and green, dark, dark green. You can almost feel it doing doing you good as you drink it. Uh, I'll probably mix that up with some spinach. Um, uh, what else? Lemon particularly is good with that. Some of these little suckers look a bit, a bit old, but it is the end of the season, being October here. Um, that they sort of, if you if you cut nettles down, they then sprout again. It's those tips that you want. You don't really want the the bits with all the seeds. There's loads here actually. If you look, they're all they're all coming up. They're everywhere. Just get a few different ones here. You don't need that many, but oh, that one looks a little bit odd. It's got some sort of something going on in the back there. I'm not quite sure what that is. We'll leave him take some of these here. I don't know what you can see of this video because I'm actually looking at what I'm doing so. Okay. Anyhow it's going pretty pretty well really. Let's say day day eight so the first first week well it's a week today since I, I um, embarked and uh, there's been ups and downs. Yesterday was a was a very um, was a very sort of, I don't know, I was just very tired, didn't want to really do much, I was planning to do loads of different things, um, but uh, just couldn't really really get going, I didn't even do my cycle ride yesterday, which is something I do every day, um, so we'll, we'll see today, see if we can get on a bit, bit better, um, and, and yeah. Just enjoy the juices. I've already done my enema today, so had my pint of um, my pint of water with MSM, which is very nice. Um, don't know what those things are over there. They look rather cool. What on earth are those? They look rather nice, but I don't think I'd risk um, putting those through the juicer because I don't actually know what they are. Cool though. There's loads of stuff in there. In our garden that looks nice. Yeah, all all green things. So anyway, we'll cut a few more nettles up. Probably just another. Let's have a look. Another four or five. One. You do get insects on on these as well, which stick to the bottom. Some of them come off um, when you when you put them in water, but I don't really worry that much about them. I think, well, they talk about vitamin B12 deficiencies when you go on to um, 
a living food diet. So, um, I think it's, I heard, is it David Wolf says that you probably get, you, you probably get um, vitamin B12 in, in nature by the insects that you eat. There's my bucket full of uh, nettles. That will do for now. And, um, so, sorry, it's a bit disjointed, this. What, what we'll do with this, then, is we'll... We'll go and put water on there. And then we'll um, get some spinach and some lemon and all the rest of it and go and, go and stick it through the juicer and that will be the first juice of the day. So I reckon that's all I need to say to you now. Hope you all have a great day. Um, and I'll catch you again tomorrow and let you know how it's going on this, uh, on this juice feast. And I'm sure it's fine. Very nice to be with you all. Bye-bye.